Senate Republicans have once again blocked legislation designed to protect voter rights. The vote was held a day ahead of the one-year mark of President Biden's administration. Fox's Madeline Rivera is in Washington with the latest. The motion is not agreed to. Even before Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer could call for a procedural vote on election reform or changing the filibuster, Senator Joe Manchin sealed the fate of both, saying he is a definitive no on lowering the voter threshold. Allowing one party to exert complete control in the Senate with only a simple majority will only pour fuel on a fire of political whiplash and dysfunction that is tearing this nation apart. And you don't have to look very far to see how we're tearing ourselves apart. Leader Schumer wants to lower the required vote to pass voting rights legislation with a simple majority. The move, which requires the support of all 50 Democrats, is an effort to override Republican opposition on the measures. These are good bills. These are effective bills. And they should be passed by this chamber as soon as possible. Republicans, meanwhile, are accusing Democrats of wanting to change Senate president for partisan political gain. If we're going to solve the issues in the Senate, we're going to have to actually work together. In a lengthy news conference, one day ahead of marking his first year in office, President Biden addressed the potential setback on an initiative he championed on the campaign trail. Still, the president says he's not giving up the fight to advance his agenda. I don't think I've overpromised at all, and I'm going to stay on this track. 